Welcome to ChemDoodle Shorts. I'm Mary, your ChemDoodle Pro. Let's learn about nitrile, thiol, and sulfide functional groups. You've learned about various functional groups, ranging from hydrocarbons, such as alkynes and arenes, to those with heteroatoms, such as amines and aldehydes. Now let's explore further with nitriles, thiols, and sulfides. We'll begin with nitriles. A nitrile is composed of a carbon atom triple bonded to a nitrogen atom, and the nitrile functional group is connected to a carbon atom of an organic substituent. A nitrile is also sometimes referred to as a cyanide. The simplest nitrile is made up of the nitrile functional group, sometimes also referred to as a cyano group, bonded to the carbon of a CH3-methyl group. This is commonly known as acetonitrile, a polar aprotic solvent used in synthetic chemistry. Its systematic name is ethane nitrile. Note the ending nitrile to indicate a nitrile-based molecule. Let's continue on with functional groups involving sulfur. The most basic sulfur-containing functional group is thiols, also called mercaptans. A thiol is comprised of an SH group, which is also known as a sulfhydryl or sulfonyl group, that is bonded to the carbon of an organic substituent. Thiols are sulfur analogs of alcohols. There is a sulfur atom instead of an oxygen atom. In this thiol, the SH group is attached to an ethyl chain. This is ethane thiol. Thiols have a strong, unpleasant odor resembling garlic or rotten eggs. As such, ethane thiol is utilized as an odorant with odorless gases, such as liquefied petroleum gas, to aid in the detection of gas leaks. Notice the suffix thiol to designate a thiol-based compound. Another sulfur-containing functional group is sulfides. A sulfide, or thioether, consists of a sulfur atom attached to two organic substituents. As the thioether name suggests, this functional group is the sulfur counterpart of an ether. It contains a sulfur atom in place of an oxygen atom. In this sulfide, there is a phenyl, or benzene group, and an ethyl group bonded to the sulfur atom. This is ethyl thiobenzene. Similar to the systematic naming of ethers, the sulfide functional group is treated as a substituent on a parent chain. The alkyl thiol prefix denotes a sulfide. While nitriles, thiols, and sulfides are not always covered in introductory chemistry classes, it's useful to recognize these functional groups. There are yet still more functional groups that include nitrogen and sulfur atoms, but for the scope of a basic chemistry course, these are the most common ones you may encounter. Thanks for watching Kim Doodle Shorts.